The court proceedings were held virtually, and after the judges identified the defendant by name, including the nickname Commander, that the prosecution included in her case file, saying it is a nickname that many identified her with, the defendant denied it ever being her nickname, and her defense team asked that it be removed from the case file before the substantive trial begins, saying this would be possible if a preliminary trial were to first be held. The defense also complained about the case file presented by the prosecution against their client being jumbled up and the accusations in it being difficult to respond to because they were all combined together. Then it also asked that any witnesses to be used in the substantial trial first be reviewed during the preliminary hearing. The defense lawyers also asked that the trial not be held virtually and that their client be allowed to be physically in court because a virtual hearing cannot guarantee that she will be able to follow proceedings at a rate of 100%. The prosecution did not challenge the requests of the defense team, with the exception of the claim that the case file was in disarray, pointing out that the complaint of the defense had no legal standing because no laws were cited when it was made. Following a brief recess, the judges in the case returned and announced their decision based on Article 125 of the Law Governing Trials and the request of the defense, stating that a preliminary trial will indeed take place and that witnesses, the focus of the trial, the evidence, the articles of the law it will be based on and the identity of those involved must all first be agreed on. The court also said that the matter of a virtual substantive trial will also be considered during the preliminary hearing on the 24th of next month that will be held behind closed doors and that afterwards the date of the substantive trial will be announced. Beatrice Munyanez is facing a number of serious charges that include murder and genocide, conspiracy to commit genocide, planning to commit genocide, extermination and human rights violations. She was extradited from the US in April last year.